Central District. And to get your gauge on where we are, it's in this section, Western Harris County. These reservoirs were built in the 1940s to protect flooding farther downstream in Houston after downtown Houston flooded a couple of times in the 20s and the 30s. The Attucks Reservoir was completed in 1948. So here we are almost 70 years after uh, the Army Corps of Engineers finished building it. Most of the people who either built it or designed it probably are no longer alive. And this is the first time ever the water has gotten to the point of reaching the spillway. Now, this is the entire watershed. So every drop of rain that falls in here is going to try to find its way towards the Attucks Dam and then eventually get released out here into Buffalo Bayou. That's where we can have those uh, controlled releases. Okay, so uh, Horsepin Creek, Langham Creek, Bear Creek, South Maney Creek, they all flow into the Attucks Reservoir. And this is an area like all the areas that have received a tremendous amount of rain. Basically, every single one of our watersheds uh, in Harris County has pretty much gotten to a 500 year event, just about every single one. So unprecedented to see it on this scale. Now, when we talk about the spillway, there's actually two of them. One of them is right over here. So the water's coming right over here around this edge of the earthen dam. It's an earthen dam. If you've ever seen it there, driving up Highway 6, you can look out to the east and see the plains uh, of, of, as you cross Attucks. And there's another uh, uh, one, another spillway over here. That elevation to, that, to get that spillway, I believe, is about 111 feet. So right now we've got a little bit of water that's coming around the corner right here, and it's going to snake its way towards Buffalo Bayou. We think. We don't know exactly the path it's going to take because it's never happened before, and there's been so much development on either side of the reservoir since it was originally finished building in 1948. But the reassuring thing I heard from Jeff Linder is that right now we're not expecting significant rises along Buffalo Bayou. He's not expecting right now not expecting significant rises and there's also been a revised number in terms of how high the elevation will get based on less rain in the forecast now so that's some more good news is that we don't think it will reach the second spillway on the south side of the reservoir so that's good news as well we'll just have to kind of monitor things throughout the day i know nerves are pretty high when you hear water going over the spillway uh, down toward the city of houston but as it's looking like we're just going to wait and see what happens but overall things look here that they might be a better case than what we thought a little bit earlier now let me pull you one one more graphic in for you here that will show you the current level and this is what we're looking at this current level of this uh, you see the purple line that's the top of the spillway so this is a look at the past roughly 24 hours the red line right here that's when homes began to flood that started about uh, 24 hours ago and we've had the steady linear increase all the way to this 108 foot elevation line which puts things over the top of the spillway on that northern section of the reservoir and I've been monitoring this and it's still rising so we do expect the water level to still rise which means more water will begin spilling down what will start as a trickle will increase the flow over time and again we're just going to monitor it right now and observe what happens there's some indication some of that water may even flow into the buffalo by or rather into the white oak bayou watershed and so if that's the case then we may see some of that water not even go into the buffalo bayou watershed as well now let me uh, backtrack on this graphic for you right here because i want to also show you what's happening at the barker reservoir so at the barker reservoir this is built south of i-10 so attics is up here barker is down here if you've ever been through george bush park that's that's the Barker Reservoir. And so this basically drains the upper Buffalo Bayou, the upper watershed of the Buffalo Bayou into this part of the reservoir. So all that rain that falls out in Katy, south of I-10, that ends up draining in here. Now, we had the gauge go down. The gauge got flooded out. The gauge at Attucks is still active and working, but they're expecting because of the rise that the gauge may also get flooded. So the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is putting in two gauges, temporary gauges. They're trying to install them in both of the reservoirs so we can keep, an, uh, uh, keep tabs on exactly what the uh, water pool level is doing. So this is a look at the Barker Reservoir elevation. Uh, so this is where it crosses Westheimer Parkway, which it did that on Sunday. And then it began to uh, flood homes also about 24 hours ago. And then right around here, sometime overnight, that's when it flooded out at the 100 foot level. The top of the spillway is all the way up here at 104 foot pool elevation. So we're keeping an eye on those uh, and they're going to get that gauge in there so we can figure out what's going on. You also may have heard Jeff mention uh, the West Fork of the San Jacinto River. So I want to quickly update you on that as well.